A lot of people from journalists to YouTubers are saying that the White House has redefined recessions in order to avoid declaring one. But that's not actually true. Well, yes, the US has reported a second consecutive quarter of GDP contraction, and this is, according to many dictionaries, the definition of a recession. The US government not subscribing to this definition is nothing new. Recessions in the US are officially declared by the National Bureau of Economic Research. And the NBER uses a combination of different variables to determine whether a recession has occurred, which considers GDP contraction, but also looks at things like unemployment. Now, is this definition obscure and prone to subjective calls? Absolutely. Is it deserving of skepticism and debate? 100%. But the narrative that the Biden administration has changed the definition is just flat out wrong. If you use the Wayback Machine, you can go to the NBER website back in 2003 and see that before Biden, before even the 2008 financial crisis, the NBER clarified that, quote, our procedure differs from the two-quarter rule in a number of ways. So while people might not like this definition, it's been the same under Biden, Trump, Obama, even Bush. 